some short clips throughout the day going from place to place. I got customers to go to. Navigate home. I gotta go home, pick up some equipment. Turn it on and off we go. Hold on to the steering wheel, otherwise it's gonna nag the hell out of me, I've noticed. So those of you who are watching, if I ever actually upload this, this is a 360 video, I'm just going to see if this works, so that way you as the viewer can rotate the video left and right to the windows. Oh, oh you're screwing up. <laughs> There's a disengagement because that's a parked vehicle. I see how it got confused and it would have corrected itself but I'm not going to let it get to an uncomfortable position where people have to let me in. So yeah I see I see its mistake and it's this weird corner here. All right let's turn you back on now that we're past that point. It's not clear to go. Come on, now it is. It is, but it's closing. Okay, now let's try again. Now you should go quickly, quickly. Nope. Okay, you got scared. Now it should go quickly. There you go. Ooh, yeah, get going now. Stopping in front, great, thanks. And Tesla reacted perfectly for it. Car coming out front, how do we do? 40 miles an hour, didn't even phase it. says what time tomorrow morning is first available just need to coordinate with those guys okay generally i arrive between 8 15 and 8 30 in the morning after i've dropped off my granddaughter oh you didn't work on my reply interesting all right well i'll reply later oh wait i can do that Generally, I arrive between 8.15 and 8.30 after I've dropped off my granddaughter at school, period. Sad. I do like the ability to just hit that quick button and do a reply without messing with your phone. Uh -uh. Don't know how this will translate with me moving the camera all around. Hopefully not a problem. And green light and off we go. Put up my backup camera. I always like mine on since I can't see out my back window. I have too much equipment inside the vehicle. This is a Legacy Model X from 2019. This is the Raven edition with the suspension, air suspension. The MCU 2, the Hardware 3, and I actually have stocks. Ooh, I have stocks. Plus one eight zero five six five one three seven three seven says perfect thanks. See you then. Oh, don't turn green. Don't turn green. Don't turn green. Don't turn. Ah, oh, damn it. The reason why I'm saying that is on version nine, ten, and eleven. Was there a version nine? Anyways, uh, it would freak out at that intersection. Just freak out it, it, if the light was red. It, had this huge open space pedestrian ahead and it would just 
just couldn't do it. It, it sometimes the takeover immediately would come up. Yeah, yeah good. A little slow, but all right. No, perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Sixteen and it up. Oh, well, there you go. There's your pedestrian. Oh, she's not, <laughs> and the car doesn't know what to do because she keeps going and stopping, going and stopping. So I took over. That's one of those, you first, no, you first, you first. Now it's got to turn in this alley blindly. As you kind of, if you look to the right, you can kind of see there's a wall. You can't see anything coming. It always make this turn too aggressively. Now it doesn't. Back there with that pedestrian, I have no doubt the car would keep stopping, but we would have had a comfortable, uncomfortable back and forth. Anyways, pausing video. Okay, continuing on where we left off. Picked up some equipment from home. And let's go into our calendar. Let's go to my customer. There we go. I like the calendar. It actually isn't as good as it used to be. You used to be able to click on notes. And uh, what happens if I engage now? It, it shows me on the street behind me. So if you look, if I could zoom up. It shows me on the street behind me. And I'm not on the street behind me. I'm in an alley. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. Is it clear on the right and left? Nope. Somebody's coming down. Another Tesla. Oh, boy, I wish they could only sell some of these. What are you going to do? What are you going to... Oh, okay, you're going to turn left. Like you should. That's the direction I need to go. Is it going to know? Let me hit my... Okay, so it knows to turn left, and we got this crazy left blind spot. Nobody's coming. Car is inching, 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 inching. Huh? You know what? That inched out really good. So it's showing us, okay, the map corrected, so never mind. I was going to say it's showing us on the wrong street, but it quickly corrected. This can also be a blind corner to the left. This lady's not helping at all. What are you doing? Oh, no. Boy, howdy. Oops, there goes my stuff. Okay, I kind of raced up to the red light, but it has a nice gradual stop coming up, so. Cool, all right, good. But after I make the left turn back there, I would have seen it's red and I wouldn't have accelerated that aggressively. <clears throat> Unless I was worried somebody was coming, I guess. Anyways. <sighs> Sorry for my ugly mug in this uh, 360 video. Where's the microphone on this thing? It's still fun. Okay. have to speed this part up. I don't know, I might not edit these videos. I just grab this camera and go. And a problem with that is this is still a new camera for us. Come on. Steering wheel hold. Yeah. Smooth, perfect, good. Really need to be in the far right lane. Yeah. Let's put our window up. Still need to be in the right lane, but we have a half mile.
perfect. This uh, 360 video might be too annoying for people to watch, I don't know. I've never seen anybody do this while driving using the 360 in this version, but yeah, we'll see. Oop, car coming over, it's one of those VW buses. I think that's a test vehicle. I don't think they're for sale just yet in the United States. A friend of mine actually drives for VW a few months back last year, actually. He uh, asked me if I wanted to look at it, so I checked it out. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. I actually kind of liked it, and he is not an EV fan at all. He's a uh, yeah, he's definitely not a fan, and he had to drive around in it for some time. And he actually said, you know what, this might be the one to uh, make me cross over. That being said, he and the kids are growing up and out of the house, and uh, he doesn't really need a people mover, to be honest with you. So I don't think it'll end up in his arsenal of vehicles. Anyways... Hopefully get a view of in front of us and the dash and the left and the right windows. And uh, if I could blur out my ugly face, I probably would, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. There you go. You know what? I would have slowed down earlier, but sh shockingly, I don't understand why that was a really smooth stop still. Didn't like kind of slam me. I saw it before the computer did, apparently, though. So that's a little disappointing. Or maybe it was anticipating they'd start moving sooner. We're in the city of Ventura, if anybody cares. Or somebody commented, where are you? Again, this is a Legacy Model X 2019 Raven Edition MCU 2 Hardware 3.0 Old cameras, but they're working good. And mine can only do that. When my turn signals come on, I don't get the left and right repeater cameras. Which is strange, considering I can bring them up on my menu. Wow, look at the... That's impressive. Look at the dash and everything it sees. It sees that off-ramp over there. I keep wanting to swing the camera over, but I really guess I don't need to do that. You can do that on your own with your phone. Ooh, I wonder what this is like in VR. Anyways, I'm going to make a right turn on Mills Road. Slow down. How are you going to handle this? Huh? Really, really smoothly. Okay. We're a little far back, but people kind of rush in the morning, so you don't want to be too far back. It's annoying to sit here and hold this stupid camera like this. And, uh,. For anybody watching, obviously this is version 12.3.4 with auto speed set. That was smooth. That uh, got a little closer to that car than uh, I was comfortable with, but ironically, I would have got that close to the car. So it's because I'm in the driver's seat and I'm being driven around. Now, don't make a right turn into the Home Depot or Lowe's. Look at that. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, so that was a no-no. It went straight in a right turn lane on this mm, residential-ish street. But I already saw in my rear view mirror is completely clear to keep going, so I didn't really do anything to intervene. So, really surprised it did that. It's never done it in the past on version 11. That being said, obviously they're going to fix a lot of this. 
I gotta wash the inside of this window. Hmm. I've been uh, a beta tester since very early on. I was the very second wave to receive beta. Oh, okay, we're here. <laughs> oh, and you're gonna pull over and park. I've heard about this. <laughs> wow. Are you gonna put it in park? You're not gonna put it in the park. Okay, autopilot navigation complete. Press accelerator to resume. No, we're not gonna do that. All right, done with that customer. Heading home to drop off equipment. And, uh, okay. yeah. I have noticed something. Although the stock to tell it to go faster does not work, what does actually work though, to make the car go faster and stay at the speed is just simply applying a little bit of light pressure to the accelerator pedal, aka gas pedal. Um, and it will go up to the speed that you pushed it up to and if you release the pedal it'll stay at that speed until it approaches something that it feels it needs to slow down for. So yeah, you can actually tell the car to go faster just by touching the throttle a little bit, or a lot if you want it to be a lot, I suppose. But I've noticed when it's driving at 25 and I really want it doing 30, I just have to give it a little bit of gas, release, and you know, release when it hits 30 and it stays there. Every time it's worked so far. Just a little notation for you folks. Oh, come on, let's go. So this is good, the light's red, and it's not accelerating hard towards it. Just maintained a nice, casual, comfortable speed until it approached. That I appreciate tremendously. By the way, if anybody's wondering, I use my vehicle for work. And I am a plumber, so it's challenging to keep it nice, organized, clean when you're a plumber. You gotta be organized. thing I wish I had is a um, lens cover that would stop the reflection off the glass. Um, polarized. Yeah. Let's try my polarized sunglasses out of curiosity. <laughs> there, there's polarized sunglasses in front. I don't know if it's ref stopping the reflection or not. Okay, now normally it would have jumped to the left lane by now because we're going to be making a left turn up here, not at this light, but the next light. Okay, I want to tell it to get over, but I also want to see what it does. It really should be getting over. 0.2 miles when we make a left turn and normally under version 11 it definitely would have got into that lane long ago long ago
be going to have to intervene if it doesn't get over soon enough. Yeah, now it's probably figuring out. And of course, there's cars to the left. And I'm going to intervene now because it's clear and it just wasn't making the lane change like it should have. That's a bug I know will get fixed. I'm not worried about it. Hopefully, that'll send a report because there's no report button under this software. Now we're doing 39, I'm gonna push it up to 45, 46. I let go and it's staying. And now we're, yep, yeah, I don't want you to get in this lane yet because everybody makes a right turn there. Now I want you getting over. Perfect. Not perfect for the car. I mean, it would have worked. It would have just slowed down waiting for the van, but I know better. I know this street much better than the system does. Hopefully that will get fixed also. This stop sign used to really be bad, but it still stops much too far back. What are you doing? What are you doing? That was weird. And it stops here when it should really be stopping up over there. And now I can see to the left and right, it's clear. It used to severely cut this to the left on earlier versions. It was just a terrible left turn. I eventually just stopped letting it doing it, and I chose to do it all the time myself. Okay, there's nobody here. You don't have to go. Okay, there we go. Okay, dropped off our equipment. We're going to head to our next customer. We're going to go into our calendar. Second customer of the day. Tap on the address. Boom, there you go. It's all routed. Wonderful. Let's, we're back in the alley. Let's see if you take me out again nice and comfortably. So far, so good. Backup camera, because that's the way I like to roll. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're going a little too slow. I should be out. Yeah, you're not on the right side of the... That makes me nervous. Somebody may whip around the corner here. Okay, looks good. I'm going to push it through because somebody's behind me. Somebody was calling, but now they're not calling. Okay. Okay. Unprotected left turn at the area I hate the most because if you look to the left, you really can't see much of anything. Here comes a FedEx truck. Do you see it? Yes, you do. Wonderful. Okay. Clear on the right. Can't see shit on the left until now. That's why you need cameras for, not behind your head, but in front of your head. Ooh, coming up on the FedEx truck, a little on the hard side. Don't know why you kind of misjudged that. Don't hit the FedEx truck. That was within inches. <laughs> that was close. I almost took over, but I could see I was going to clear it. Okay, clear on the left. And away we go. <laughs> that was close. Okay, windows up. Hope I'm not boring everybody with my narration here. You know, one of my most favorite things about the Model X is just this. Huh, okay, this windshield. God, I love this windshield. It is. I think there's subconsciously something really nice about having this view all the way up and over your head. I'm not kidding. It is. It is really nice. When we 
drove out to Vegas and went between mountains and stuff. And we have mountains here in Southern California, but boy, the, to see the tops of all these trees as you go by, it's just, it's really neat, actually. This customer we're going to, uh, just a running toilet, uh, not a big deal. I'll be in and out in a few minutes. I'll check over a few other things as a courtesy, just to make sure he doesn't have any issues he doesn't know about. Um, I've probably been to this address before, but probably not for a year. I have over 2,000 customers right now in my database. So, yeah, they keep me busy. All right, so car got out of the way. Are we going faster? No, but we got a flashing yellow light. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're being cautious and slowing down, looking around for people. Nobody there. Okay, all right. Cool one. I'm content with that. Making a left in one and a half miles, so we got a little ways to go. Gotta find a way to mount this camera instead of freaking holding it. You know, this is what the fourth version of version 12, and it's this good already. I can only imagine on the 8th or ninth version what it's going to be like. I don't know where the best location is for this camera. I've been moving it from the left to the right, but... I don't know. Just because my hand gets tired and I switch. Good, nobody's looking at me. <laughs> have my steering wheel if you look down at my steering wheel I always have my steering wheel low enough to where as my hand is resting on my thigh I still have a hold of it and I don't have to reach up and hold my arms up to hold on to the wheel very uncomfortable we should be moving to the left lane because we have a left turn coming up in a half mile so it hasn't moved yet is it gonna be another one of those forced takeover things what you doing? Okay, kind of moved over. Saw the guy there on the tow truck. Why aren't you moving over? Let's see. Do I have you on assertive? Nope, I have you on chill. I'm going to put you to average. And now it's going to change lanes. Jesus, was that the problem? We'll find out. I'll leave it in average. This little camera gets hot. Let me see here. I need to blow some cool air right onto it here. There we go. Anyways, I was saying with my hand resting on my thigh I still have the wheel and uh, it's actually super comfortable put your hand put your fingers on it kind of gives it some weight but really not enough but if you're turning it just uh, the wheel rotates right in your fingers uh, obviously that's not gonna work with the uh, ooh, big dip here big dip what are you gonna do oh, Ooh, that was good version 11 wouldn't have done that I would have had to Tap the brake and disengage. Clear on the left. Was there even a stop sign there? Oh, there was. Okay. Just about there. One more left. Uh, the yoke. Yeah, the yoke. You can't. Uh, this doesn't work very well, unfortunately, because you have a square box in front of you, unfortunately. And this. Here, I'm going to say it now. They need to make the next Model X. Nope, don't go past my address. And you're stopping, you're stopping, you're going 
past my address and you're going to pull over. Which I get. Okay. I'm going to say this now. The next Model X needs to be 24 volt and drive by wire. Then I will want the yoke. If they do that and make a plaid five seater, I'm in. All right. Let's go see our customer. Finished with our customer. It's pretty interesting. He has a very old fashioned flapper um, for the toilet. Something I don't actually have. All right, what is my camera telling me? App. App connection is not supported during quick capture. Yeah, I know that. Still waiting on traffic. Should pull out a little farther. We got our limit line, our creep line, excuse me. It's clear on the right, or excuse me, left. And off we go. Good job. See the fire trucks coming out ahead. Uh, so yeah, they have that old-fashioned flapper that has um, it goes straight up and down on a brass rod. So I do not carry those. It's so uncommon here in Ventura. Um, obviously, that toilet is original from when they built the house, probably in, I don't know, 62, 63, 64, somewhere around there. So he's still got the original toilet. That's pretty interesting. You don't see that a lot. We're going to go to the warehouse and see if we can find that flapper. This is really just pretty much straight down the road, so there's not a lot of turns on this. I'm just going to really turn the camera off in this one. Cheers. Okay, we're gonna head out to another customer that just called today. And uh, this one is through the city. I could take the freeway, but that's kind of boring for video. So we're gonna take the freeway all the way. Uh, we're gonna take the city route and uh, yeah, we're gonna leave the plumbing warehouse turn on and see what the heck happens right here in the mm -hmm, okay all right we're going left let me see if i can turn on navigation on my there we go nope i want you to go out here i think it thinks it's on the street that's the problem yeah it thinks it's on the street already it's not Well, as GPS's get more and more accurate, we'll see that problem go away. Okay, stop sign unprotected left on a relatively busy street. So it would have been nice if we stopped. No. Normally it's busy, okay? Jesus, make a liar out of me. Um, yeah. I do like how we can now pick a route out of, you know, the give, different given routes and even change during which I think we'll take the Main Street version. It's kind of more uh, busier, I guess you could say, more dense with traffic. I think will be a better test. Somebody's got an exhaust pipe. <laughs> that used to mean something. I myself have been a gearhead. Having a father as a gearhead. Uh, but I never worked in the industry, so I appreciate automobiles. I've had a lot of different cars. I've had a GMC Cyclone. I've had a Ford Taurus SHO, the super high output one. I have, keep an eye out for people here, looks good. Oh, what else? Um, that Taurus was a maintenance nightmare. So was my Cyclone, but only because it was running about 800 horsepower, so it broke things. Oh, be 
big pothole, but we're gonna miss it. Cool. Uh, what else do I have? I had a Mercedes E500. I really like that car, but the transmission went out after 90,000 miles. So that was a whole lot of money. And a nightmare. Oh, what's this guy? Uh, let's see. Uh, my other car, which my girlfriend pretty much uses all the time. What are you going to do? Oh, look at you. You're just going back and forth, back and forth. But you picked one, and you didn't impede anybody doing so. Um, my other car is a Chevy Volt, which was manufactured in 2010. We got it in 2011. Uh, it's been a really great car. Uh, Maintenance-wise, it's been really, really good. And we finally, after 13 years-ish, uh, had the battery removed and a refreshed battery put in. And for anybody caring, which everybody seems to, it was about $5,400. We could have either got rid of the car. Ironically, the battery is still working. It was throwing an engine code, though, because of the battery. So we couldn't get it smogged. So we couldn't get it registered. Otherwise, it had the same battery in it right now if it wasn't a freaking hybrid. <laughs> Funny story, but we felt we liked the car so much that putting the investment into it was better than getting rid of it. And if we get another 13 years out of it, I doubt it, but if we do, holy crap, what a good value it was. car has been driving around about 90% of its life on battery, 10% on gas. Okay, it's going to get loud, so I'm going to put the windows up, I guess. It, so far, since we've left the plumbing place, this has been a very smooth drive. These stops at the stoplights today have been really good with the exception of one that was I thought a little bit on the ag aggressive side yeah I, I would definitely describe it as aggressive it was like okay you're doing great what happened outside of that these stops have been just fantastic I know it's kind of weird to get excited about a stop but it's nice when it's smooth and relaxing and you almost don't notice you're stopping I guess that's the best description we got a Rivian across the street, the SUV. I kind of like the looks of those. Not the, not the headlights by any means, those ridiculous looking things. Everything else about it, I like. But I hear constantly from owners, read on the forums, the seats aren't comfortable. And I bet Rivian addresses that and gets it fixed. When, I don't know. Maybe already, maybe not, there it goes. Yeah, that's a good looking vehicle. Good looking. I think it has more storage than this Model X. This is 85 cubic feet of storage. 86, somewhere around there. Really, really, I'm really close. Uh, I don't know what the Rivian is. Maybe somebody wants to comment down below. But uh, you got to have comfortable seats. If you're going to go on a long drive, geez, you got to have comfortable seats. That is super important. Boy, this is smooth. I feel like we need to go a little faster. I do see that there is a vehicle in front of me. 818, blah, blah, blah. Got my dishwasher. I noticed the bottom one. Plus 18182164889 says IMG1839 JPG. Hey Dean, last night when we were rinsing dishes, preparing to put them in the dishwasher, I noticed the bottom of the dishwasher was filling up with water that was clearly the dirty water from the hand washing. We tried running the garbage disposal to see if that would help, but ultimately <laughs> it took starting the dishwasher for it all to drain. I know that's not normal. And and although everything seems fine now, it seems like a bigger problem waiting to happen. Do you have thoughts about this? 
That is supposed to say, Will, sorry. Hmm. Sounds like they don't have a dishwasher air gap to me. I'm going to have to call them back. So, if you didn't notice it back there, that left turn onto this street yesterday went perfectly fine. Today, it was for some reason coming to a stop at a green that green light. Uh, so I had to push it through. Um, I don't know why. Same lane, same direction. It was evening, I think, then. That's the one difference. And it did it perfectly fine. But it was literally stopping. I had to push on the throttle to make it go through. So don't know what happened there. Finally... Is that an intervention? Yeah, I didn't disconnect or what do you call it? Disengage. So I had to assist it. Made me uncomfortable because I got worried about vehicles behind me, of course, coming up on my ass. But uh, no, uh, nobody was behind me. And I kept looking left and right trying to figure out what are you stopping for? Is there a person there, or an animal? I didn't see anything. Did you guys? The only reason why we're on 360 video is because this actually goes wide enough to look out the left and right window. Somebody's forgotten to go. There we go. Now we're going. Where are we going? Oh, you were supposed to go up Main Street. Oh, I bet it was slowing down to try and change lanes. And it was, yeah, that's what it was. I bet that's what it was, because it was supposed to not make a left. Son of a bitch. Oh, and I can't really intervene fast. Okay. So it didn't get into... Oh, what are you stopping for? What are you stopping for? Seriously. 15. There's nobody behind us, but they're coming up. All right. I'm going to give it some gas. And off we go. It's back to running normally. Ah, it's not perfect, but it's very good. That was a very gradual slowdown for nothing. Twice now in the last few minutes. But that left turn we took, we were supposed to go straight. So because it was probably in the wrong lane, probably a little bit on the confused side. Loosen air to my left rear. Don't see those very often. And I'm here in Southern California, and you don't see them very often. That is not a good sign for the manufacturer when you never see their cars. the sound of his own car, you can tell. <laughs> there goes our lucid air, which they're having a big fire sale on. Really discounted the price a whole lot from what I understand. I got disappointed when they came out with that Lucid Air, um, what's that really fast one? Diamond or something or other. And they didn't beat Tesla's price on the Plaid. I mean, it's just as fast as the Plaid and slightly faster. And that was actually a good turn back there. Four-way stop. We're here first. You should go. There you go. All right. Nice. Um, yeah, they came out with almost double the price of a Plaid and slightly faster. Slightly. 
It's like beat the plaid price and you'll be the king of sales on this vehicle. All right, left and right, it's not clear. Got a person walking that's kind of screwing things up. Bicyclist, so this is a bit of a challenging one. Okay, uh, you probably should have waited for the car on the left, but it looked like they were waiting for us. Yes, yes, stairwell. Where are we going? We're going to go up here and make a left. All right. And navigation has it wrong. It has me making a right turn before the street. Four way stop. We're good. Yes. So I'm going to have to intervene before it makes that right turn. Turn, don't turn, don't turn. Perfect. Yeah. Oof. That was a bit on the bumpy side. I'm gonna really burn. Okay, good. Well, that worked. Those guys are <laughs> make me nervous, so I'm gonna really hold the wheel. But no, fantastic. Oh, so I can't make it past up that. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you don't know what to do here. That's okay. All right, we're here. Okay, so we finished up this customer. There's the city of Ventura. Not that you can probably see it very well with this camera. Um, she wants to get on the freeway to go to my next customer. Um, okay. Okay, let's do that. And I told it to take Main Street. Let's see what it does. It's got to have a mind of its own. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, then it will jump on the freeway eventually. There's these guys working and their uh, cones out on the machine. Goes good, 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 perfect. Okay, this is a blind corner, so you definitely need to... Okay, nice and clear. How close are you to that? Oh, no, you're not close at all. I'm overreacting. Okay. What are we doing here? Are we turning here? Okay. Okay, we're going to make a left on Main Street here. Good. That's what I wanted to do. So far, it's missed two turns today. And I've had to intervene on one of them, and I failed to intervene on another. Now, this truck ahead of us should go first. There he goes. Perfect. Clear on the left and right. Still clear. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good turn. Sunny Southern California. What is it? 60? Oh. Where'd my temperature go? Oh, they took, I lose my temperature, outside temperature, when you have the full screen thing showing. favorite things about having uh, two screens. One is you have a navigation oriented in one direction. Your overhead behind you, your next turn coming up. Then on your other navigation you have from where you are all the way to the point where you're going to. I like the two of those. Um, in unison it's very informative.
glasses. I got my cheap way of. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> comes our Rivian back again. I think it's the same one. We don't see a lot of those, so... But we see more Rivians than we do the uh, other expensive electric car that um, one I was talking about earlier, but I can't now remember the name. slow down for this traffic here and come to a nice comfortable stop. Man, I really like that. I cannot get over how nice that is to have now. Makes turning on FSD supervised much more enjoyable. Because it's not data. But we all expected, you know, it just to be FSD and no beta in there. Well, we all know this is a cheap workaround from saying beta. We don't really care though because it's literally so good that even if it doesn't reach level five, I don't care. It's so good right now that I'm happy with this. I'm literally happy with this. The kicker is, it's gonna get a little better. Maybe not level five, I don't give a shit. It's worth the money at this point. But if it reaches level five in some miraculous way, I don't think it ever will with those pillar cameras behind my head. But if it does, um, and they turn my car into a Roby, Roby, Robo taxi, okay, cool, all the more power and all the more uh, stock price to uh, enjoy. But I don't think they can do it the, with the hardware the way it's set up right now. If the cameras were below the mirrors, the side view mirrors, yeah, that'd probably do it. If they were forward of the front wheels, yeah, absolutely that would do it. But they're not. And, or at least two additional cameras that would activate when you get into those very rare circumstances where you're doing the creeping out because you can't see, there's vehicles blocking your view down the street. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's physics, unfortunately. There's no magic bullet. You can't see through an RV that's parked at the corner blocking your view. Put your camera out far enough. Yeah, sure. Anyways, that's my rant. There's everybody going around the corner on my uh, display there.
You know, I have noticed with this software update, whenever I enter something into navigation, it is popping up instantaneously. Um, whereas, you know, my work for a little while, but I'm not ready to jump on that bandwagon to say it's faster yet. we got to give it some time. It's just an observation so far in the last two days. Uh, oh yeah, we're getting on the freeway here. <laughs> I always ain't paying attention. I'm trying to wonder, where, where are you going? Well, back and forth on boy. Yeah, he did it again, but not dangerous, just weird. Yeah, the car hasn't done anything dangerous yet, it's just been weird. Oh yeah, we're gonna get on the freeway here, so wind is up. Got about a three mile trip on the freeway and getting off then. Yeah, in order to see the outside temperature, I have to disengage full self driving. The UI is very good in these cars, but I, I find little tweaks that could be made. Especially like the calendar. The calendar, you can't click on notes anymore and access the notes. Okay, this merges into one lane and then merges onto the freeway. That's a super wide lane back there, and the car gets confused. It's always gotten confused. It actually handled it better than it's handled it in the past. Before with Bob a left and right trying to figure out, hey, where are the lines going? This time it wanted to run up and pass the truck, and then as it narrowed down, it realized it can't pass the truck. Then it decided, hey, I'm going to go around, and then it couldn't go around because there's a vehicle coming up pretty fast to our left rear, and it changed its mind again. But the vehicle to our left rear decided to let us in by slowing down. So it was an awkward situation, which could have been avoided, you know, if the system was smarter, which hopefully it will get smarter. We're taking the next off ramp, so we should be getting over. Yep. And as I say that, we're getting over. So we're getting off. video as a 16 by 9 sideways 360 but I don't think that's possible with this camera that would have been super awesome if I'm wrong please somebody comment below and how to uh, engage it in such a way no turn on red and you stopped okay are you gonna go 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Huh? It's not going. Hmm. Interesting. It must understand no turn on red. Well, it is a red arrow, so I guess it's going to understand that. And away we go. Now, it usually freaks out here because of this paint job. Yeah, fine. Wow. Yeah. I forgot about that. Every time I get off there, it, it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But uh, first time getting off there and handled it like a champ. So many improvements, a couple glitches that need to be fixed, but so many improvements. Perfect. I don't think I've had a disengagement on this drive. Or the last one. <coughs> people going, what is that doofus doing? <laughs> I haven't caught anybody looking at me, though. Oh, here we go. And... Nice merge into the turn lane. Yep, we're going back to the same customer. I got his parts. Wow, Took, takes that. That's the second time it's done that perfectly. Which it never would do perfectly. I always had to disengage and hit the brakes real quick. Version 11, of course. All right, end of our video here. Okay, finished up with my last customer of the day. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna go get some lunch and head home. I uh, did take my customer for a quick little full self-driving test drive because he asked if that would be okay. And I said, sure, I got time. And now I'm starving, so we're gonna go get some uh, lunch. Navigate to El Pollo Loco in Ventura. Perfect, and away we go. <laughs> Sorry, my air conditioning's on high right now, so it's probably a bit on the noisy side with the fan. See, if it just stopped, in this case, well, what was that, 10 feet farther? Oh well, it is what it is. The drive with my customer went very well, but it did go fast over one of these dips in the road. So it kind of wasn't perfect. And the funny thing is, it's, it was this dip right here to the left that it actually, two other times before, did fantastic. This time it hit it a little bit on the too fast side. Uncomfortable, I should say. Gave us a good bump. Slow down, slow down. Oh, there it is. Now it's decelerating. Perfect. 
it feels like most of the time it's seeing the yellow or red light farther ahead than before. I shouldn't say seeing it, it's reacting to it. I've always known it sees it because you can see it on the dashboard that, yeah, you can see it, why aren't you slowing down kind of thing. Oh, that was a firm acceleration. Um, maybe it's racing this Mercedes-Benz to my left. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was one of my big gripes is that it would just... I could see the red light, but it wouldn't be slowing down for it. Like, I see it now. We're doing 48. I'd slow... Well, it's green now, of course, so never mind. Um, I would react to it sooner, and I wished it reacted to it sooner. Now with version 12, significant improvement. Okay, yep, go around the slower car. Wow, just quick decision making there, that's good.